Hi there, it's Paul C here from wz2k.co.uk. In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a little look at how we can work with smart collections inside Lightroom 4. Now, smart collections are a really cool way of actually grouping your images together based upon certain criteria that you specify. You can keep it as simple as the ones that come with Lightroom itself, things like all the images that are colored red, five star, images that are imported in the past month, and so on. What we're going to take a look at is how we can create our own smart collections to work with the criteria that we want to work with. So as we've done in the past, under the collections panel on the left hand side, click on the plus. This time we're going to choose create a smart collection. Now what that's going to do is it's going to open up a dialog box that allows us to input the criteria that our images have to match before they'll be applied to this particular smart collection. So for this particular example, we're going to keep it simple and we're just going to use top pictures. The placement, as we've seen with previous collections and collection sets, we can use top level so it becomes its own collection in its own right, or we can actually embed it or nest it inside a different collection. For these, on this particular tutorial, we're just going to keep it as a top level item. Now we've got a couple of options here. Let me just remove this one a second. And you can see the first thing that starts off with is, in this instance, the rating is greater than or equal to the number of stars that we want to apply to this particular image. Well, let's expand the rating and see some of the options we've got available to us. You can see we've got things like label color, label text, which folder it's in, if it's in a particular collection. There's a huge array of different options we can use here as the search criteria to apply to this particular smart collection. But for ease of use on this tutorial, we're just going to keep rating as the option. We can specify that it has to be greater than or equal to a particular number of stars. In this example, we'll leave it to be five stars. We've got a plus on the right hand side of this dialog box, which allows us to add a second, third, fourth and so on criteria in that has to be matched before our image will be applied. So we can click on that and we'll say the next option we want is that it has to be a color of red. So you can see label color is red and obviously we've got all the options that are available in there and if we created custom color options we can apply that. We can alternatively apply it to have none. If we want to add a third option or fourth option we can easily do that. We could even specify which of our um, rules have to apply. We can say any of them, all of them, none of them so we can use negative searches and things like that. But for argument's sake, like I say, we're going to keep it pretty simple on this one. We're going to keep it that all my images have to have a five-star rating and they have to be marked off and labeled in red before they're going to apply to this particular collection or this particular smart collection. So once I create that, we'll find that it'll search through our catalog of Lightroom and all the images that match the criteria that we've specified will all be added to that smart collection. So I click Create. You can see it immediately shows me just all, all the red five star items and you can see we've now got a top level smart collection called top pictures it's a fantastic way of working with your images like you would normally if for example you're like me you'll five star the images you think are the best ones in a particular photo shoot and then i'll mark them off as red once i've edited them or if i think they're a good starting point to work with and then obviously i'll reduce those star ratings and so on down but this is a great way for me to quickly go through my entire catalog on lightroom and find all the images that I think are worthy of, of actually uh, presenting to the outside world. The outside world might not think the same, but uh, can't have everything. Anyway, this is Paul C for wc2k.co.uk. This has been a quick tip for Lightroom 4. We'd love to see you near the forums or the website or the YouTube channel and so on. Please feel free to get involved with WC2K now and in the future. Until the next time, take care.